let's talk column four, the amount saved. So we've just discussed, you know, columns two and three, as far as minimum owed, the actual you know, amount paid, this is the amount saved. Uh, in this instance, you'll see that Joe paid extra on his mortgage. When you pay extra on an installment loan, meaning whether it's a uh, mortgage, it could be a car, student loans, anything that's paying principal towards something, you can actually count that as savings. So in this instance, because Joe paid more on his mortgage, that's why there's a savings number showing up. Everything else that's an expense, obviously is not a savings. Uh, the exception might be, you come down, you'll notice we line items two different things. Joe has whole life insurance. So with whole life insurance, there's a cost of insurance that goes into that each month. So we broke it down into two line items. Uh, in this case, Joe owes $84 a month for that piece, but maybe he wrote a, uh, a check for $384. Well, we've broken it up to where that's the actual cost of insurance, and that extra 300 goes towards his savings. And that's why you'll see it reflected in the amount paid, as well as the amount saved. So if you scroll down, again, all these things down here, Joe's retirement, Jane's retirement, they all show up in that column four at the very, very bottom. You'll see how much is saved each month. So in this case, it's 500, and our $5,983. Skipping ahead just for a brief second, your asset tab down here at the bottom, if you click on that, you'll scroll down. This would be the number, so it's been tweaked here since we last did it. This would be the number we'd pull over from the budget in May, 5983. We will enter that into May at 5983. And year to date, Looks like Joe and Jane have saved about almost $14,000 uh, on top of their normal um, after paying all expenses. So guys, that is column four. Uh, again, the big thing here is just to realize what is savings and what is not savings. Again, if you're paying something that actually goes towards your betterment, whether it's paying off an installment loan or money in, actually in the bank, then it counts as savings. Call us if you have any questions and we appreciate you.